Hey guys, it's Tony with NTB Drop-In and it's been over a year, so how are you guys doing? This is where we combine mental health and mountain biking to create this awesome thing that I call my channel, or was my channel, because I haven't been on here for a year. I got injured, I died. It was bad, my bone died. We'll talk about it later. But... So today we're actually going to be talking about mental health stuff and how it relates to mountain biking. One of the things that I do to kind of help my mental health is I like to listen to music while mountain bike riding. So today I wanted to talk about three reasons why you should be using music while mountain biking to help improve like your mental health, your depression, your, your feelings of like, you know, downness. I contacted this company that I met at Sea Otter and they saw that I was wearing bone conduction headphones and they were like, hey man, um, I noticed you're wearing the bone conduction headphones. Would you like to try our product? And I was like, sure, send it to me. And they did and I liked them and then I lost them because someone stole them and I got a hold of them and said, hey, look, I'm gonna be making this new video. Would you mind sending me a new pair? And they did. So before we head out to the trail, I just wanna give a quick shout out again to Earshots for providing these and getting me a pair again. They're pretty legit, so they do not go like in your ear like they're not bone conduction headphones either either they sit right outside your ear they don't plug it really like that much you can use one headphone at a time that is why i really like these um because a lot of the times i'll just put in one headphone especially if i need to be like way more like aware of like my surroundings i'll just use like one let me tell you a story there was a time when my body did not want to do anything could not get myself out of bed music served to somehow help me change my mind and my emotions and then the way that my body actually felt. I use it as a tool, like in combination with mountain biking. You see, changes in the mind affect the body and, and also vice versa. Changes in the body affect the mind. So when something in the wor this world happens to you to affect your psyche or your psychological um, functioning, that's going to change your body and what it wants to do. So sometimes what we got to do when we have a really hard time is we got to engage the body so that it can change the mind. Sounds simple, but not always simple. So music has been proven to cause your body and your mind to like produce like endorphins that make you feel good. So it can actually like music itself is like actually just an antidepressant in and of itself. When we combined movement with the music, like i.e. mountain biking, we are now causing our body to give it to like infuse it with energy to move forward. So I see this kind of thing in dance. I've never been a dancer and I've always been kind of embarrassed to even like try it. But one of the things that is that I've always been envious about dance is that when someone dances really passionately, it's very inspiring. It can affect other people. You can tell that they are visually being impacted by the music, like not only in their mind, but also in their body and emotions. This is why I love Andreu Lacondigi. Andrew Lacondigi is a very expressive writer. He is putting all his emotion into it. It's almost like he's like writing to like a music track when I see him. He inspires me like an amazing dancer would. You just see like the emotion flowing through them and just taking out that aggression. So the point is mountain biking is like a dance. To me it is. When I'm going through a hard time, I put on the music, I feel my aggression and you could actually like I would like to think that you could see me expressing my emotion through how I'm riding, through how I'm pressing through a corner, through how I exit a jump or like try to whip to the side or whatever. This is very impactful to our mental health. And if we are going through a hard time and we are struggling with feeling depression, if we feel like we cannot move, put on some music, get out there, ride your bike. So one thing that studies have shown is that the rhythm of the music and the tempo really affect what's going on in your body. So it really does matter what you are listening to. If you're going downhill, I might I tend to listen to things that are faster, more aggressive, that put give me that extra bit of adrenaline. When I'm going uphill, I tend to listen to lower tempo music, which kind of like aids me in finding like a cadence and a rhythm to what I'm doing, which helps me to get outside of like my emotional brain. So I guess what I'm trying to say to sum it all up is that music is like a tool to help the mind and body connect to re-regulate itself. So there's a lot of times that I don't use music because I just like to be one with the trail. There's really something to be said about just being out in nature and just like hearing and feeling the things of nature and just hearing your tires. Like that's all the thing that I love to do as well. Okay, so guys, let me know like if you guys listen to music on the trail and if you do, 
Let me know what songs you like to listen to in the comments. I think that might be kind of cool. Like what is your favorite song that puts you in the mood to go downhill? Or like what is your favorite song that like gets you like going uphill? You know, and if you've never tried music, why don't you try it and let me know how it goes? You know, obviously taking into consideration there are safety issues. I tend to wear like headphones and stuff like that, like these, like that actually don't clog my ears so I can kind of hear what's going on around me. All right, guys, so this is Tony with NTB Dropping. Thank you for, you know, hanging out with me in the dirt today. Stay strong, keep pedaling, and uh, watch out for more future content because I have no desire to stop.